y'all and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Today we're going to be doing a pour and I'm going to be using these new Arteza pouring acrylics. I'm so excited to try them. Everything's ready mixed and ready to go. This box comes with 32 colors, 32 colors to choose from and mix and match and I have a link down below where you can get a 10% discount and I've got to say um, I loved the texture of the 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 finished pour. Uh, it's got a great it's, it has a great texture, bold. The colors stayed bold and beautiful and rich looking. So I was really happy with these new Arteza pouring colors. It, it did feel weird to me to not be doing my own little mixing because I'm so used to doing that now, but um, it it turned out really well and I was really really happy with them so let's take a look at the video now and I hope you'll give them a try again the link is down below and also don't forget to click on my Amazon link I've got things that I use things that I on my wish list uh, that, I, that, that I want <laughs> maybe even my Christmas list for heaven's sakes I don't know but anyway so let's get right to it This is the box that the Artesia paints came in, and there's 32 colors in here. Great colors. And they're all ready to go, including a, got a, even a neon, neon green and a neon pink for fun there. So, got my chosen colors for this project. I'm gonna be using this coral, this wine, red, bronze, and sea green. I chose these colors from my, my art board on Design by Kathy Pinterest. Uh, several of you have said you had trouble uh, finding it. Uh, I had trouble finding it on my iPhone. It wouldn't let me. I, I had to put Design by Kathy in and then actually go to my Pinterest page and then it showed me my board. So if you're doing it from my iPhone I don't know, I did have a little trouble with that, but just put in Design by Kathy and go to Boards and then find Art. There'll be various things through there, but throughout the throughout what I've saved, I've saved color palettes. This one, uh, what someone saved, it was actually from uh, Sharon Williams um, Color Cards. They had one more color in with it, a purple, but I chose to leave the purple out uh, today for this project. So, I'm anxious to see how this is, this, use this paint, see how this is going to work. I want to shake them up. It's going to feel really weird to me to not be doing a mixing, because, <laughs> you know, that's what we normally do. So, I'm going to, I'm just going to start layering. We'll start with the bronze. And then I want some wine. Coming out really gorgeous in here. My coral. And my sea green. Again, when you're doing, um, no. When you're layering, I find that it helps to bank the colors off the side, and that helps fill the top, helps keep it on the top of your previous color.
Now, without being able to see and without measuring exactly, I probably used, since these are two ounce bottles, I probably used an ounce out of each one. So let's, this is just also another test to see um, how much paint it takes from the two ounce pre-mixed uh, bottle. But I did use pretty much, I can tell there's enough in there. Yep, plenty left for another project. I'm just going to pour this on. I'll start here and we're just going to pour. This is so this would just be a straight pour. No no fancy bells or whistles today. Just pour, pour, pour. Let's see if we can get all of that out. And now we're just going to let it do it, let this paint do its thing and see what we come up with. I'm going to try to keep it on the canvas as much as possible for the, you know, right now. I don't want it to flow over the edges at this point. I want to keep it, get my surface covered. Had a little bit to make it off there. Now, I used a very conservative amount, and we don't have a rapid flow. It's still flowing. We're not creating a lot of waste here on this one. Okay, <clears throat> so clearly I did need to go one more level uh, of layers. And this is like a probably 11 by 14 canvas, so I needed one more layer. I also lost a lot of my, now this is not the fault of the paint, this was just the fault of, you know, the, the paint pourer here. Uh, I want more of the, the, burnt, the wine color. So I think I'm going to try adding a little something, so let me... Let me grab some tools and y'all hang on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this little area to fill here and I am going to do uh, one more little small layer here. And I think just do the trick.
Okay, also, I uh, decided I love this one color and I want to see more of it. Uh oh. Okay. So I have decided we're going to add a little color. The the wine color. Yes, I know. I said no frills, but this is not a frill. This is really easy. This is just some cotton, cotton string. I'm just smushing it down in my little cup of the the wine, the wine red. Making sure that the whole amount is covered. Of your string except the end you don't need the very end now I'm just gonna start up here and lay it twist it around and back and forth and then I'm just going to gently pull it down through here oh yes I like the wine color that's pretty cool <clears throat> Not going to, you know, don't want to over overdo with a lot of string pulling. Just a little bit here. Just enough to give it that little extra pop of color that I was looking for. And the only reason you want to, whoops. You know, you don't want big blobs, drips. Sometimes they happen anyway, but just to be a little careful. Let's see, I'm gonna do this way now. I'll do the same thing here. And then I'm just gonna pull it towards the center here. Now that is just really cool. And I'm going to do one more. So I think it will balance it out to put one more over in this area. So let me get my string all smushed in. See if I've got enough paint in here. A little bit more. Ah, now I'm happy. I am a happy camper now, folks. I like it. I like the colors. I like how it came out. Um, I like the paint. I can't wait to see the whole dried effect because I know the what I, when I've used it before, I loved how it looked dry. It, it dries beautiful. So I'm anxious to be able to report to you on the, the dried effect of... Uh, of the paint on this canvas. <clears throat> thank you guys for stopping by, or thank you all, and I appreciate it very much. I appreciate your, your likes, your comments, and your thumbs up. If you're new to Design by Kathy, I hope that you will subscribe as well and jump into the fun of pouring paint. You all have a wonderful day.